So, uh, all this might be an issue because we still have to fit, we still have to fit an interior in here. And we have this much room. Oh, today is, uh, boom, Sunday the 27th, and the car leaves November 1st. Car still doesn't run yet. Uh, interior still not in the car yet. Today we're going to tackle the interior. It's raining. I got to go get Cody. I got to go get Eric. It's also 5.45 in the morning, and we still have a two-hour drive out to the shop. Over a two-hour drive out to the shop. We might have to take two cars. It's gonna be a long day. Cody might take his brand new cross truck and join us down there uh, at Area 1320. Uh, we're just waiting on Eric. Eric's on his way down here right now from his house. Eric's the interior guy. And then we're gonna head down to Area 1320. We hey. won't stop to make hey. it along the way. Hey. First stop. The Titanic. Get some, nope. It's a new one actually, so it's Ooh. clean. Thank you. My turn. Eric pulled, a, pulled an all-nighter to finish parts for today's install. Back here at DID. Wow, this lighting on you looks Whoa. looks nice. Look at this. Wow. Look at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's cool. Black Eric, out. you did a lot. Yeah, Riley Reed did this thing. The armrest came out sick. Yeah. Dude, the center console? Yeah, that came out awesome, dude. Looks tight as all hell. Let me see how your camera zooms. Oh, you got a nice little progressive zoom here, Cody. Oh, it's slow as hell, though. <laughs> Look at this. I remember I told you guys that I can't show you the full interior. Um, this isn't the, well, this is the full interior, but there's some small pieces yeah. that we're saving to the very end uh, to show you guys at SEMA. So I can show you all the work that Eric's done, and I want to show you all the work that Eric's done and the people at DID here have done, aka just Eric. We could show you all this, but we're not going to show you the little extra surprise. We're going to save that. We're going to save that for SEMA. Also, if you guys thought we didn't uh, stop at the best sponsor in the world, you'd be wrong. So it's hard to film and uh, help them at the same time, but we're getting the headliner in. doesn't help with anything. Well, I can't, I'm no help anyway, and we all know that. The entire internet knows that. I'm just good at, well, I'm building I'm, a car. Well, Cody and my friends are building a car. Basically, headliner's in, and now uh, you got the rest of the materials. What you doing over there? I always, I packed a bunch of stuff just in case. I also packed what was ever left of the last wrap that we had from the last car in case we emergency needed to wrap something in that dark color. So we have some of that Avery Gloss Pearl Black that's definitely gray. Sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Oh, and the new mirror from Beer Gears and Gasoline. Thanks, guys. Damn, dude. This part. You look pretty dashing today, I must say. I'm not really the best help because I don't want to break or ruin anything. So I'm kind of just standing by, letting the guys do their thing. You guys are like, Chris, you didn't even build your own car. I didn't. You're right. <laughs> Just uh, for evidence, this is me, Chris, carrying two pieces into the car. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you can't touch those. Shout out Randy for the free hat. Indirectly from Chris. You're gonna have to put that back. It's okay. Bye, Eric. Thanks for everything. We'll get your check in the mail. <laughs> we're not paying them. No, we're not. <laughs> Eric, you're done. How do you feel? Well, you're almost done. How do you feel? I still feel accomplished. <laughs> As you should. So, first step, now the interior is in the car. We're going to our friend Phil's house to drop off a camera piece, because if you guys remember, if you watch the High Profess vlogs, I borrowed a piece from him. Now he needs the same piece from me. Uh, so we're going to drop that piece off to him and then continue down to Area 1320 and then continue our really, really long day. And also, I think we're getting underglow today too, if you guys are interested. That, they're coming today too, and I think now we just talked to Leo and Sirius Innovations. I think the air ride setup is coming from Sirius Innovations today as well. Do you guys, this might be a jam-packed vlog. That was a different thing. <laughs> Shane was like, hey Josh, tell him this idea you had. And he started playing yeah. this idea. Yeah. Just gotta put you in there. Be good. All right, so yeah. that piece is dropped off yeah. Phil. Uh, now we're gonna head on to Area 1320. Probably about another hour. And an hour and a half later, we're crossing the tracks once again to Area 1320. And oh look, there's a river. There's a river in their driveway. All right, well, oh let's just go ahead and, uh, all right. Bye, Amazon. Cody hasn't seen the car. Cody hasn't been here in a while. Uh, and you guys actually haven't seen, well, none of us have really seen nope. much of what's been done since uh, since we've last been here. That's a lot of, uh, <laughs> you that's a lot of twisties. Dude. You see the pit stop? Um, there's so many things to look at. <laughs> look at the pit stop. It's got my name on it. That's fucking <laughs> cool. So who's, whose company is this? Uh, Illuminati. It's one of his friends, Ryan's friends. What you think, bud? This is insane. <laughs> So, this is your car, bro. We it's weird. Like it. By the way, Cody, have you heard of Chase Base? 
I have heard of Chase Basin. How fantastic are they? they oh, tell me, tell me about more. So since we've last been here, Ryan's made a ton of progress on the Legacy. Uh, today, like we mentioned before earlier, is today's the Sunday the 27th, and the car leaves, I think, this coming Friday the 1st. But we have to get it all done and done up way before then, because it just has to roll on the trailer on the 1st and then leaves. A ton of progress has been made. Uh, this has been like super, super short time frame. Lot, lots to get done in that small little time frame, and, and it looks the car looks so amazing. I'm sorry we're all like really tired, so our expressions aren't as amazing as they should be. But this is a this is a full show car. Just silly. <laughs> That's all fiber titanium. Thanks, vibrant. Otherwise, mm -hmm. horses next. <laughs> Not only that. Ryan, are those vibrant pie cuts you're about to pull out? They are. Oh wow. Pre-packaged, pre-cut. Different degrees and stuff. They're, they're all about nine degrees. Mm -hmm. So when you get. No, ten of them. Yeah, you got your ninety degree band. Cody hasn't been here in a while, so he has some he has some learning to do. <laughs> also, the Illuminati uh, pitch top up there with my logo on it, matching the fuel rails. That's so cool. Our Garrett GTX uh, thirty five seventy six in the front. Holy shit! I'm not even there yet, Ryan. I'm still in my this part. Ryan made a thing. If, when we start the car, we're gonna put it on the lift, and you're just gonna like put your mouth right on that if that's okay. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of gaze. But we were gone. Uh, Josh also dropped the doors off here to Ryan, so we have the doors for the car. And also, you can notice the big brake kit on the car. The yellow speed big brakes are back on the car. We got the hats uh, painted, not painted, powder coated in this cool metallic -y purple. That's kind of our overall accent color. And you guys can see here the brakes themselves. Uh, we're gonna have to, we still have to put in the logo. We're gonna do like we're gonna cut like a decal for that. But the brakes here themselves from Yellow Speed. These are big brakes from them, if you guys remember. We also did them in that purple flake from the powder coater. <sighs> Those are cool. I'm gonna be very careful around these doors. It's our carbon fiber hood scoop in the middle. Just gonna, you know, make sure I don't break anything because I'm good at that. All the vibrant parts and boxes still here. Cody's getting filled in on everything, but uh, oh God, this color looks so good. With the purple and the, oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was kind of going back and forth on like if we wanted to do that purple or if we wanted to do like a copper as our accent color. And I'm really stoked that we wound up doing the purple because it not only does it match the interior colors that we do, originally I wanted to do gold actually as our accent color. And then I went to like a copper and then I went to this purple. And I'm really stoked that it's the purple because the purple goes really well like with the raspberry at the cars. Um, so I'm super stoked to, to see those next to the car now finally. And to see them behind the wheels is gonna look even more, even more amazing. Did you guys see that engine bay though? All the fabric Ryan did? Killed it. We have our CSF Ultimate Half Rad here uh, that's got the fans and everything on it that look amazing. You guys can see around we have all of our vibrant HD clamps as well. We have our Cobb front mount right here. Um, we have all of our Illuminati parts all around the AMS intake manifold that you guys liked so much uh, right on top there um, where we have some chase base parts. These, right? Yeah, we have chase base parts all around scattered. Look at that, look at that Area 1320 logo right there. But once the car is fully done, we're gonna go over everything, how they did everything, we'll sit down, we'll talk with Ryan, we'll sit down, we'll talk with some of the sponsors at SEMA as well about the parts that are on the car, so you guys can learn more about them um, and why they benefit our car, how they could benefit your builds. Um, but for today, goal is get the interior in, um, ether lights come, uh, air setup comes, and that means we can run the battery for everything as well. So, let's get to it. So. is for, can I see, is this for that? That's going to be for the dome light, yeah. You guys do that. Look at the headliner. It's weird seeing it in the car. Wow, it looks better already. It looks so cool already. <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the Gears and Gasoline guys gave us their legacy review mirror that they don't need anymore. Uh, well, Ben, thank you, Ben. Shout out to you. You can see how this mirror looks pretty clean, pretty clear. This is the first biggest step, because it's the biggest piece, or one of the biggest steps, it's the biggest piece to get in the car. The guys are killing it. Obviously, Eric from DID made all this. You see his nice shirt. Oh, yeah. Also, we were just showing you the Ben's mirror. This is, uh, this is our mirror. That's not all, like, dirt on there. That's the actual lens. Like, look at that. All those little scratches. That's... That's on there. That's not coming off. It looks so bad. Ugh. He, the bends have the same circular ring. Raph just showed up real quick. Raph, who you with? Ether lights, man. What? Just what? Build the coolest Ooh. underbody LED automotive lighting kits ever. Uh huh. Where can people find out more about them real quick? At Ether Lights on Instagram. Uh huh. Um, 
pretty much where I do a lot. What's up? Okay. Get, uh, Leo, get out of here. You're not, it's ah. not your turn yet. It's not your turn yet. So basically, what these guys are coming in, they're coming in and hooking up uh, underneath the Legacy to make it shine extra bright. And not just like, not just like this light right here, not just like that kit you buy from Amazon that you slap underneath your car. None of that. This is all like legit top of the line stuff. Eat the lights. They're different than anything else out there that you guys will see. Fully custom. Custom lights. That's the whole thing with them is like they'll cut it and fit it to your car or like in the grills or in and make it all like continuous, right? So like if you want to make something fully custom, you want to have lights go from underneath your car to in your grill to back out through the headlight. I don't know. Whatever you're doing. Whatever option you want. Whatever you can think of, we can pretty much make it happen. And that's what makes these guys so special. And they're coming through and they're making the legacy even more special with their lights. We'll check in with them. They're gonna do their own thing. Rob's gonna do his thing in a little bit. Leo just got here. Let's go say hi to Leo. Eric's doing his thing. A lot of chefs in the kitchen today, uh, but it's gonna be worth it. It's all gonna pay off. Leo, where are you going? You try to escape? What do you mean? You can't escape me. What are you doing? How you doing? What you been up to, Leo? How's what you been what you been doing with the uh sleepless night, man? Yeah. How's that how's how's the the setup for this baby looking? Oh, you're gonna see, you're gonna see. Ooh, I'm excited. Last time you guys saw, last time we were there, Leo uh, surprised me with the setup. Uh, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I didn't know what it was gonna look like until he showed me. And then obviously you guys saw that video, we were blown away. So he still has had more work to do on that uh, and has some more stuff he wants to work on it. So when you guys eventually see that and we show you guys that, that's gonna be like whole different from what you guys previously saw in that last video. And then combined with everything that everyone else is doing for this car, especially Raph over here, putting the ether lights on. Sweating his ass off, but but doing a great. Just read the letter. Just read the. Letter. He's getting in the first little set here. He's mocking everything up where he wants to get everything going. Uh, this will be the first uh, part of the ether light kit today. Ryan's over there welding. Cody's in here eating. Well, Eric is stitching part of the um, the view, not the viewfinder. What is this? It's a visor, window visor. Eric's stitching part of the window visor, um, and uh, Raph with the ether lights is doing the ether lights. Everyone's doing something today. I'm vlogging and filming everybody because, well, I don't really know what else I, I can do. I'm very car intolerant. But everyone is lending hands today. This is the D-Day week. It is, like I said, the 27th. The car leaves on the 1st. The car has to be done the day before that, so it can just roll in the trailer the next day. So we have today, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Five days to get this car completely done, running. Um, we probably won't get it on the dyno before time, but at least get it running. Um, there's just, there's so much to get done, but everyone's helping out and it's coming along swimmingly. So we're gonna have a quick lunch and then we'll go back to showing you guys some more footage of the car being put together. Listen, we're like cavemen still. Mm -hmm. We all love to see lights. Look, 4th of July is a perfect example. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes, <laughs> oh. Don't forget the run after that, they go, Ah, uh, right, right, right. <laughs> but it's the same concept. So even when you know we're planning our lighting, mm -hmm. we still have to pre-think where it's gonna sh shine. It's not just throw them up and I'm gonna go fast and furious. No, yep. even they had a specific point. Um, but one of the things about our kids again is that it's made. You can actually take a look here, lengthwise. It goes all the way, you know, across. Mm -hmm. That's so this long. Way you get more, yeah, right. <laughs> That's really long. <laughs> light you know light effect under the car and less gap areas especially on this vehicle because it goes it goes lower it, you know literally sits on the ground uh -huh. you want it to shine out so it shines from under the skirt yep and you can see more of it so you're so but to do so you're just angling out your yeah, your tube a little bit more lights facing literally they call smart it a 45 degree angle. okay you know just make it easier smart so anyone doing lights that's just a tip can't give you all the secrets. No, you can't give it all the sauce. No, no, no. I'll let you taste the sauce. You can <laughs> make some at home. You know, you, you still gotta be. It won't come out the same. The recipe's never gonna be the same. <laughs> what you doing, bud? And sweating his ass off. Sweating his ass off. Sweating his ass off. Sweating his ass off. And sewing. The last piece? Yep. Very last One piece. That is not forgotten. Hey, leave no sun visor behind. Nope. <laughs> Look at Eric's putting in hand sewn care to the legacy. Uh, and that's gonna go inside uh, another little sun visor soon. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go yep. right into the corner. Okay. Wait for your turn. Cody just got on the dashboard. I'm just hiding some parts I don't want you guys to see just yet. Look at that. That hasn't been in there in a long time. That stitching though. Very nice. Leo, what are you working on over here? Fill us in. Fill the people uh, in. We here. I'm trying to uh, organize all these wiring. Oh wow. Spaghetti. Yep. I like spaghetti. Leo's got the setup here that you guys saw on Instagram if you guys follow make sure you guys follow Serious Innovations uh, on Instagram they posted up on there a few days ago you guys saw that ahead of time all right Cody's got the dash in let's check in on this guy back here Leo what you doing what you up to how's everything yeah. how's our terrible mess cleaning your baby <laughs> cleaning my baby mm. 
What are you uh, thinking out, about? You know, making space, uh, making sure that everything is clean, mm -hmm. making sure uh, all, the, all my wires are there, if I have to run any extra wiring. And yeah, that's about it. Cool. All right. I'll leave you to it. You do your thing. I'm going to go check in on Raf real quick. Hope he's alive. Uh, can I come in? Mama! <laughs> Everything good? You good down there? Okay, I'm good down here. This is my house sometimes. Uh, you can live anytime you want. Rent free. Yeah, I got you. Job. All right, next up, Eric's going to take the A-pillar for the front uh, to the dash, and we have his Alcantara job done. Don't put that in your eyeball. We have the Alcantara here on the A-pillar, too, so that's going to run up right next to the passenger driver. Eric, let's go throw that in. And I grab A-pillar. B oh, son of a mother... Here you go, man. Yeah. I got you the right side. So it's pretty much just is going to go on the other side of this, and then we're going to continue the Alcantara from the dash up in there. Ooh, you can see what the Alcantara looks like. Well, kind of see what the Alcantara looks like. I hear a truck pulling up, and that means only one thing. That looks like a bumper to me. That's a bumper. That's a side skirt. <laughs> fucking squad goals out here. We got shit how compared to this. How many trucks do you guys get pulling up? How's it going? How you been? Hey, man. How you What's buddy? Good. How many trucks do we need? <laughs> What's up? How you doing? It's Pearl's Customs. Painting all the goodies. They brought literally everybody they know. God damn. Wow. Ooh, look at the fenders. <gasps> look at the doors. <gasps> Yay. You guys have any the last time I saw this was when you were wow. carrying an R2V bumper inside. I did do the same exact thing. <laughs> yeah, the same exact thing. Give me your thoughts, Josh. Oh, how it I love it. Yeah, I do. Dennis? I might, I might do I'll it. take it. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's bringing over the, uh, the air ride setup that he's got going. Ooh. Okay, thanks, Josh. It's a high five. I'm just gonna. Thanks. Fuel pump controllers. And then this. I mean, it'd be nice to just bolt that right to the thing, but if that's just laying in there, it's gonna. Yeah, you're not. We're gonna have to go right straight to the, to the car. Is, is actually perfect. And I have a billet battery hold down that can get bolted down, and then the battery bolts to that hold down. So what the guys are figuring out right now is they have that trunk setup, the awesome trunk setup that Leo and Sirius Innovations created, uh, but we also have the fuel surge and the battery that needs to be located in the back of the trunk. Uh, so they're talking about right now how they're going to put them uh, together next to each other. Um, they're figuring out if the fuel surge and the battery are going to go next to each other on top of it or bolted straight to the car or on Leo's setup or something. Um, that's what they're trying to figure out right now. So that way the, our trunk setup is actually going to be awesome because it's going to be the best of both worlds. We're going to have this insane trunk setup that he just showed us uh, some of it's still not even done yet and then also next to that the 5.5 liter fuel surge from Dietrichs and the Optima battery the Optima yellow top battery uh, shout out to Optima as well as uh, Dietrichs for hooking both of those things up for the legacy wagon Ooh! damn Leo okay that's sick. Hey. I was cool with my fuel rails. Damn. Do some love on fuel rails. We all get so excited over like three light panels. Light. I spent all this time on it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yo, who did that? Yo, holy shit. I didn't notice like the Alcantara inline too. That's fire. I, I just see that. Yeah. He, he like blended in. Hi. Looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> Stealing Ryan's view of the top down. This is this is the same car that we drifted around snow parking lots, by the way, in college. So front bumper and other parts are here. Uh, we have some stuff to deal with the front bumper. We'll, we'll worry about that in a little bit. We're going to do some cutting and so on. But we finally got to see the Giala front lip, the carbon fiber front lip up against the bumper. Um, this is the Giala front lip from Japan Parts uh, made for this bumper. It's just sitting on top of it for now just for looks. Don't mind fitment or anything. But it looks pretty cool. It's got a little inlet in there. It looks really cool. I've never run a carbon fiber lip in my car. I've never really been ballsy enough to. Um, but then uh, SEMA called. So we're doing it. Yeah. Boom, and just like that, before we even like did anything, we just turned around and Raf's already got some of the lights turned on and power to some of the lights that are underneath the car. And it already looks so cool. I've never had a car with underglow, uh, ether lights. I've never had a car with ether lights. Got you. And it looks damn good already. And everything's hidden. This mode, this thing that you're doing right now, this is why, this is one of the big reasons why, why we want to work with these guys. Look at that. Oh, you guys see lights in the trunk setup, but you guys can't see what those lights are just yet. I'm blocking it out real quick. The Sirius Innovation setup is almost done in the back. Uh, 
There's still some work to get done, so I'm not gonna show you guys it just yet, because that's one of the parts that's gonna debut at SEMA, as well as some of the interior bits, interior, interior bits that are gonna debut at SEMA, uh, as well as the car completed with the wheels, uh, and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, we gotta be careful from here on out what we show you guys, because we do need to debut the car at SEMA. It's still kind of a part, there's no hood, there's pieces of missing on the trunk, fenders aren't on, but we still have to be careful, because the car has to debut at SEMA. There's, uh, how many different combinations that we could have in here? Oh. Totally, it's 120. So okay. It's, yeah, it's 120 <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. Like the whole gorgy bed too. Yeah. <laughs> It'll do all the colors. That's um, you insane. also have your own colors if you want to uh, like static colors. Yeah, yeah. Just like regular neons and just let it glow. Okay. Like. Glow <laughs> and it's just on. Fire. As Eric does the interior a little bit more, Cody's messing with a really cool piece that we got. You guys saw on Instagram. I posted this a while ago. This is a piece I had made by Damned. You guys are always asking where I get a bunch of my Japanese or JDM parts for the legacy. Japanparts.com. Not a sponsor. I just get most of my parts through there, uh, and their shipping isn't that bad either. Uh, you guys know overseas shipping always kind of sucks, but it comes pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> just like Chris. Well, anyway. So this is a D-shaped uh, Damned carbon fiber steering wheel. As you can see, it's a D. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Hey. D, D shaped, but also uh, I went and splurged a little bit and got the one that has the carbon fiber uh, along the top to kind of match all the other carbon fiber trim in the car. And all we're basically going to do is trade out our airbag and center for this airbag and center. Um, and Cody's going to spray paint the two end pieces black, and then we'll be good. But the leather on this is really nice material, and the carbon fiber is really nicely done as well. And obviously we have damned and the D shape down there. This is going in the car as well. So much. So much is happening today, so much is going in the car. The car is literally transforming in this one day, even though the deadline is five days from now, or the car leaves five days from now. So much is going on, yet so much more still needs to be done. Splurged a little bit, and we got STI, tuned by STI door cells that still have the protective blue coating over it. These are door cells that are gonna go in uh, here, so right when you step in the car, that'll be there. Ooh. Looks brand spanking new. Still has a blue protective plastic on it, STI parts. Super cool. Thanks. Oh, those are greasy by the way, I touched them before. Thanks bro. Yep, anytime. So our next step is to get our Recaro Sportster leather and cloth seats in the car. Um, Recaro reached out, yes? Ryan. What is on your head? The Recaro seats, we'll show you them in a second once we just look at the rail. 15 bucks an hour, you can't figure it yeah. out. <laughs> We don't need that. We'll show you guys the seat in a second once we get the rails on and sorted. But these are Recaro Sportster seats. We'll show you these more in detail once they're in the car, especially at SEMA. But we're just on a mission right now to get everything installed. You guys saw us trying to put the Recaro in? Well, we only have the rails, we need the brackets for it. So we're gonna have to try to overnight the brackets or two day the brackets because we don't really have any time to kill. So we have one more door to put on for now, for tonight. We're gonna do the last rear door, put that door on, and then that's pretty much all we're doing tonight because we still have like a two and a half hour drive home um, to go through tonight. And it's currently 8.37 p.m. Um, but we got a lot of stuff done today, which is good. True. All the other cameras died. Music's playing. I'm gonna make this out real quick. Today's been a long day. It is now 9.25. We gotta head out. Uh, I'll be back Tuesday, probably Wednesday, and probably the other days. I just have court tomorrow for a stupid speeding ticket in the Pacifica. I made some crazy, crazy good progress today. Shout out to everyone that helped. Air 1320, obviously. Uh, Ether Lights. Uh, Serious Innovations. Uh, everyone else that was here. Thank you guys. Uh, we're going to get copyrighted, so i got to end this, but it's been a long day. I don't know if this is going to be one video or multiple videos. Thanks for watching me if there was multiple. I know it's just a bunch of jumping around. See you guys. Also, from today, there's four days till SEMA. I don't know when you guys are watching this, but in real life, four days till SEMA.
Thank you.